Here are the runners and riders. Number one royal destination for Fawzi Nas. Two is Sherry in the son of Singspiel. Three, Club Oceanic. And we have four, Tahama. Going to be the favourite here, I imagine. Five is Jutland. Pat Cosgrave rides. Storm Chispazo represents Herman Brown. Kevin Shea in the saddle. We have seven, Janud and Xavier Ziani. Leali Al Andalus is the mouth of James Doyle. And we have Dr. Fausta, so Pat Dobbs, Doug Watson. Akil Bay will enjoy this trip, if not once further. Harry Bentley on board. Of course, there's each Seamart. And then a few more, King Charles. And we have Raidgund Abbey, or Richie Mullen. Bawadi, I mean, as Chevy rides, that's interesting. Pat Cosgrave appears to have got off Bawadi. And then we have Masharef, Tygo Shea. Sport Masaba Al Mahari. Gabby has been loaded away. Sherryine in the line. King Charles drawn widely has gone up. There's Bawadi going in in close, and they may be just about set. Fifth of the night, gates are back, racing. Dr. Faust is a little slow to go, no surprise in that, and Storm Shapazo dropped back after the break. Masharef and Raid Goodabi near the inside began well. Jutland fast away. Leali Al Andalus out four deep is striding up looking for the lead. Club Oceanic is fifth, Tahama sixth, and then Janud, white cap out wide. King Charles is deeper on the track, followed by Arkel Bay, Storm Chapazo, Sharayin. Bawadi drifting back along the rail. He's third last on the inside of Royal Destination. And the grey Dr. Faustus had dropped out to the rear as they leave the first 400 behind in 26.6. And was short of 1,500 metres left to travel. Leali Al Andalus crossed to the rail and led by three parts of a length. Jutland second, Raid Good Abbey three parts of a length away, running third on the rail. Janud is fourth, but he's three deep. Club Oceanic, blue colours, white cap in the centre. Another length away, Taha Ma, who again tonight is away from the rail. He's on the outside of Arkel Bay, Masha Ref, and King Charles is outside of him. So King Charles is four deep, striding down the back. Shariin behind that group of horses. Bawadi came away from the rail. Dr. Faust has poked up on the inside at the 1,000 metres mark. Storm Chapazo second last and Royal Destination whipped them in. They ran 800 in 51.2 and 1,200 in a leisurely 116.2 and out of the back casting the 800 metres mark astern Leali Al Andalus about to be tackled by Jutland who strode up on the outside. Masharef a length and a half away running third. Raid Gudabi off the rail in the middle. Club Oceanic three deep. Tahamar will be four away when he peels. Frankie starting to liven him up He's still four lengths off the lead. King Charles and he's outside. Dr. Faustus the Grey sneaking up on the rail as Jutland took over in the straight past the 400. Taha Ma now responding to Frankie comes after him. King Charles is deeper out. Storm Chapazo coming down the centre of the track. Taha Ma has got a bout on his hands. He takes the lead from Jutland. King Charles trying to go with him. Shari Eames followed them. He's coming through the gap and he's the one. Richard has pounced late. Shari Eames charged to the front. Guess who trains that winner? Sharayin first, King Charles second, Tahama third, then Jutland, followed by Bawadi, Arkel Bay, Leali Al Andalus, Storm Shapazo, Dr. Faustus, Club Oceanic, Royal Destination, Raid Good Abbey, Masharef, and Janud. And yes, you're right, it's that man, El Rahi. That's four. Shariin, just when Taha Ma looked as though he'd, he'd won the bout with the other pair. Richard sliced through, getting up behind the leading trio. And the result was never in doubt once he got the run. Shariin, funnily enough, sired by the horse of the program, Sing Spiel. Number two, Shariin, Richard Hill's first. 11's run second. King Charles is out for Tahamar in the end to snatch second from him. Number two, Sharayin, Richard Hill's first. Number 11, King Charles. Jesus Rosales has run second. Tahamar, number four, Frankie de Tori is third. Two, 11 and four. Jutland, fourth. Bawadi, fifth. 
Leali Alanda Luce ran six. So two eleven four five thirteen and eight in two nineteen point four eight. Two nineteen four eight. Once more Dubai holds the record at two fifteen seven eight. And Shariyeen has run two nineteen point four eight. Well, he is having a day at the races, Ali Rashid Al Rahi, isn't he? He's really made sure that the Trainers' Championship is going back to grandstand in no uncertain terms. Tahama raced wide again. He eventually got the battle better of uh, Janu, uh, not Janu, of Jutland. Then King Charles loomed up, but then all of a sudden Shariyin came through behind them and it was all over then. A length and a quarter, a neck, three quarters of a length. A length and a quarter, a neck, and three quarters of a length. The distances after the running of race number five. Shariyin, second to Wealthy, beaten three and a quarter lengths over 1,900 metres at his most recent start. That was back uh, two meetings ago at the beginning of March. So, um, well, a fortnight ago, in fact, or thereabouts. Before that, behind Mushrek, he was a Jebel Ali 1800 metres winner, uh, defeating Zane Shamadel back on February the 10th. But yet another consistent horse from Ali Rashid Al Rahi's operation. Shariyin by Singh Spiel from Carinium, a five years old brown gelding, raced by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, trained by Ali Rashid Al Rahi to give him four for the night and Richard Hills the winning rider King Charles by King's Best trained by Abdullah bin Hussein written by Jesus Rosales and the Tahama also by King's Best trained by Saeed bin Saror and written by This is the training presentation. That's Joanne Deke of Golf News Broadcasting. She's the sales manager.